recently, the Lord has given me opportunities, and I say praise to the Lord, not anything that I've done, to openly oppose and expose Freemasonry. Ephesians 5.11 states that we are to have nothing to do with the deeds of darkness, which Freemasonry is, but rather to expose them. The craft is what many are said to be involved in when their husbands join the lodge. They make it seem innocent and simple and harmless, but it is not some harmless big boys club. It is actually part of a grand design by Lucifer himself behind the scenes. And it's nothing new. Ecclesiastes says there's nothing new under the sun. No one can say, look, here's something new. What has been will be again. Jesus dealt with the builders in the Gospels. As a matter of fact, he spoke to the builders and said that the stone that the builders, meaning the Masons, those working for Satan and doing the will of the lust of their father, the devil, they rejected Jesus Christ as the stone and the foundation that humanity is built on. I wanted to, uh, there's so much that I could say about Freemasonry that I could take an hour to make a video about it, and I'll try and break it down little by little. Uh, it has a long, long history, and as I've told you before and alluded to before, Freemasonry is heavily tied into the Jesuit order as well. They're all working, the Skull and Bones, the uh, Freemasons, the Jesuit order, they're all working hand in hand with the papacy in Rome, uh, according to Revelation 17, to rule the kings of the earth and bring about Lucifer's one world order. I wanted to show you a video, uh, it's a brief video, about a gentleman who was going into a Freemason lodge, and he was admitting openly that Lucifer, he feels, is righteous and pure and holy and good and a helper of mankind. Back in the garden, Lucifer uh, presented himself to Adam and Eve as a helper of mankind alluding to the fact and casting doubt in their mind that God was somehow holding out on them and that he, Lucifer, was the light bearer and able to bring them to their full potential and that God was keeping that from them. And the same age-old lie is going on today. And without God's spirit living in us and without his discernment teaching us, we would fall for the same lie as well. We don't have it in our own ability to outwit Satan and to protect our own minds and our own spirits from his cunning. As a matter of fact, Jesus said, Jesus himself said that the lies that were coming about at the end of the age would be so great that if it were possible, even the very elect could be deceived. So this is how good these things are. So when God is revealing things to you, we really need to give him praise and thanks, not because we've studied long and hard enough, but because he's revealed it. Let me play this video for you. I'll see if it'll come through. Let me turn up the volume for you. Okay. Play button here. All right. Hopefully this will come out for you. What is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything about, about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you were Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the internet. Oh, uh, God bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach, is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. No. And you're, what you're about confirming. those hospitals? They, they, they you know what, sir? <clears throat> Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did not, we did not do these good deeds in your name. And you'll say, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5. Mercy. No. That's hard to believe. So you're a Christian and you don't know that. Actually. No, I really am. You are. Because exactly. I'm pure and virtuous. You're pure and virtuous, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're perfect without Jesus, right? No, 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 no. Okay, tell me about Jesus. Who is Jesus? Oh. Well, he's, he's my leader. Is he the son of God? Yes, he is. Is he the only worshipful master? Yes. Have you ever been called worshipful master? No, because I, I've just been too busy. I've been working. Working. Working to help people. What like kind you. of work? Get out. <clears throat> See, this is what a Mason confesses, is that Lucifer is light. Have you heard it? Now, I'll stop right there. And there's a couple of other things that I can bring up for you. This gentleman was being interviewed outside of a Masonic lodge, and this Christian gentleman doing the video behind the scenes was interviewing him to get the truth about Luciferian worship within the Masonic lodges. This gentleman admitted openly that Lucifer is pure and virtuous and a helper of mankind. They, uh, Lucifer has deceived these people 
uh, into believing that they are searching for the light, that they can reach the degrees and better themselves. And of course, uh, Satan's age old lie was that you will be gods. Uh, this is also a product of Mormonism as well, which is highly tied into all of this. And like I said, I, I could tie in Mormonism and Freemasonry and to the skull and bones for an hour or two, but I won't do that today. But I wanted to just do an overview for you and also caution you that I myself have run into my church, and this is going on in other churches as well. And I think that's one of the reasons why God has kept me where I'm at, is to plant seeds and shed light and expose things. Um, the churches are being infiltrated by Freemasonry, and I, and I hate to say this, but it's true. Many of the denominations that used to be uh, God-fearing and would have nothing to do with Freemasonry are now compromising the truth. Remember, Paul stated before Christ came back that there would be a great falling away from the faith and that men would no longer adhere to sound doctrine, but instead believe doctrines taught by devils. Uh, one of these doctrines is that of Freemasonry, that you can reach the light, that Lucifer is pure and virtuous. Um, they don't care which god you worship as long as you worship the great architect or call anything god. The great architect or the G in Freemasonry is not the god that created the universe. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm fully convinced that even on our dollar bill, with the pyramid on the back describing the New World Order, where it says, and on the front where it says, in God we trust, I, I believe that their God is the God of Masonry, not the God of the Bible. Many of our government leaders and founding fathers were called deists, deists, and they were heavily involved in Freemasonry with those Masonic aprons on and everything else. The God of the Bible is not the God on the front of our dollar bill that says, in God we trust. Freemasonry is infiltrating the churches at an astronomical rate. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, if you're a pastor or you're a teacher in a church, you need to lovingly approach people that are Masons in your church and tell them the truth of the lie and the darkness they are caught up in. When we avoid confronting Freemasonry in our churches, we are enabling the evil to come in. We are to be watchmen on the wall and we are to confront uh, God never told us to sit by idly and let these things infiltrate our churches without confronting them in love. But I also wanted to bring up some other facts for you. That was one video that I thought was very relevant that I wanted you to hear. Uh, let me see here. This is another uh, picture of uh, lodge members uh, touching a, um, a Bible or a holy book. And it doesn't matter which book that you ascribe to, whether it's the Koran or whether it's the, the Bible, you have to believe in a God. But the great architect is not the creator of the universe. And notice the, the Freemasonry symbol there. They all have their Freemason rings on. They're a brotherhood. Uh, this is the very same builders, very same mystery of iniquity that was working when Paul wrote the Thessalonians. And he said the mystery of iniquity is already at work. And this, this had a great deal to do with it. Let me see if I can find you. There's another thing here. Okay. Uh, the occult, known as Masons. Freemasons, Freemasonry's synchristic view of God. In Freemasonry, the God of the secret societies is covertly substituted for the one true God. The false God is identified in the Masonic lodges as the great architect. And John 14, 11, Verse 13 tells Christians to call upon God the Father in the name of Christ Jesus. Yet in Masonic lodges, prayers are always directed to the generic great architect of the universe. Masons deliberately omit the holy name of Jesus Christ from their prayers. So what does John 14 tell us to do? That Christians are to call upon God the Father in the name of who? The great architect? Allah? No, we are to call upon God the Father in the name given men by which we must be saved, the name of Jesus Christ, that God may be honored through Jesus Christ. His name is the only name given men by which we must be saved. I wanted to make this video again as a refresher, but also as a warning to those of you who may not be familiar with Freemasonry. It is not some innocent big boys club where people get together and do good things for people like the Shriners and hospitals and things like that. Remember, Jesus said many would stand before him on the last day and say, Lord, didn't we do good things in your name? And he will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. There was no intimate relationship there. They were never born again of God's spirit. That Satan will fool people into thinking that just because these Masons go into hospitals and do good things, that doesn't impress God. Remember, the scriptures tell us that our righteous deeds, or so-called righteous deeds, are as filthy rags in his sight. Christ became our sin 
so that we might become the righteousness of God. And no matter what we do, Christ said, the flesh profits nothing. Flesh gives birth to dead flesh, but God's spirit gives birth to spirit. And you're born again of his spirit, flesh of his flesh, and bone of his bone. You will never reach immortality apart from Christ because of your own effort. You can never ascend the degrees of masonry to reach your full potential and be like God, be like the Most High, and come to the light. Jesus Christ said he is the only light. So which is it? Is it Freemasonry in the lodge, or is it Jesus Christ himself that is the light? Uh, I want to continue to expose these things and confront them in the churches. I challenge you, if you're a pastor, uh, a deacon, if you're a teacher, uh, whatever you are in a leadership position, you need to pay attention to what's going on in your church. Are there Freemasons sneaking into your church? Are there subtle heresies coming into your classrooms and into the Sunday school rooms? You really need to pay attention. And if you're more worried about keeping your position behind the pulpit than confronting the truth, we have a problem. Uh, it needs to be confronted in love. Speak the truth in love. But it needs to be said. Freemasonry works hand in hand with the Jesuit order, the papacy in Rome, to bring about this final satanic Luciferian end time plan. And remember this video that I played for you at the beginning. This man believes Lucifer is the light and he is just and virtuous and a helper of mankind. I pray that your eyes are opened. Ephesians 5.11, expose the deeds of darkness.